okay, okay. That's not really how weight loss works, but it does give a glimpse of some of the most powerful effects of having a healthy thyroid. So welcome back to our channel, folks. We're the Carnivore Chicks and I'm Allie. And I'm Patricia. We're nutrition and fitness coaches that talk everything health, nutrition, and fitness. Today we're gonna go over what are some of the most common underactive thyroid problems and one big way that you can overcome it and why this way works. So what are the most common underactive thyroid problems. Hashimoto's disease is a disease in which your immune system attacks your thyroid. It is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. Some common symptoms are fatigue, constipation, hair loss, unexplained weight gain, muscle aches, and increased sensitivity to cold. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which your thyroid gland doesn't produce enough of the crucial thyroid hormones. Now, over time, this can lead to obesity, joint pain, infertility, and heart disease. Now, this is a lot of talk about the thyroid, but what is it? What, what is it and why should we care about it? Now, the thyroid gland lies in front of the neck and it's kind of shaped like a butterfly and it's right below the Adam's apple. It plays a major role in digestion and the development of the body, especially the brain. Also bodily functions like regulating temperature. So when we're cold, pregnant, or growing, our thyroid regulates our hormones for the temperature. The thyroid gland produces three types of hormones. Now, I'm gonna butcher these, uh, these names of the hormones, but they are triiodothyronine, which is T3, or tetraiodothyronine, which is T4, and calcitonin. <laughs> Made it through. Good job. In order for the thyroid to function properly, it needs iodine. Our bodies cannot produce that on its own, so we have to get it through our diet. When we don't get enough iodine, that's when diseases can develop. So what is iodine and how can we get it in our diet? So iodine is a mineral water and it's pr primarily found in seawater and sometimes it's in the stones in the sea. It's also part of what's called the halogen family that also includes bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. This doesn't mean to drink seawater. But we can get our iodine from seafood and sea vegetables like shrimp, seaweed, fish, or from iodine salt. Mm, this little thing here was the key to weight loss and the spoon this whole time. Every time I've gone to Red Lobster, I feel kind of guilty. Like I really want to eat the endless shrimp, but I feel condemned about the cholesterol and feeling like a pig. Like that coconut shrimp, right? Yeah. <laughs> we need the shrimp, folks. Iodine is an anti-cancer agent. It prevents cancer in the thyroid, but it also it helps prevent breast and prostate cancer. In fact, low levels of iodine haven't just been linked to the thyroid dysfunction, but it's also linked to fibrocystic breasts, infertility, and a lack of ovulation. In fact, most folks probably are deficient in iodine, and it might not be for a lack of like eating a ton of seafood. A major problem with getting enough iodine is that there are other elements that prevent the body from absorbing it. It's those halogens, folks, and the periodic table, iodine is a halogen along with the bromine, the chlorine, and the fluorine. Iodine is the only good halogen. The other ones are bad news. Chlorine prevents iodine absorption. When we are around chlorine, we're not only getting its toxic effects, but it's preventing iodine absorption. Wait, so what about people like us who don't really swim? Do they have to worry about chlorine too? Yes. Most common question, but chlorine, like all the other halogens, is in our water supply. So if we're showering in it, it gets on our skin, our body absorbs it. Hmm. Fluorine is also in our water supply. You can recognize it as fluoride. It's in our toothpaste, water, and dental products. Fluoride is not our friend, folks. There's no study showing that we need it in our dental care or water, and it prevents iodine absor absorption amongst other issues. So our best option is gonna be to remove fluoride, get fluoride-free products, and get a great water filter for drinking and showering. We'll pop a few in the link below along with some other benefits so that you can take a look at them yourself. Now the other halogen isn't as commonly known, but it is one of the halogens that we're surrounded by the most. Bromine. Bromine is also in our water supply because what's not in there? Bromine actually replaced iodine in our baked goods and flours. It's in flour because it can improve the rise and elasticity of the dough. But it's also important to know that bromides are found in flame retardants, hydro spa canisters, medicines, soft drinks, plastic cans, jars, personal care products, it's sprayed on our fruits and vegetables, and it's in inhalers and electronics too. It's everywhere. And bromine prevents iodine, and getting iodine in our diet is already tough enough, and now bromine comes at it. 
but don't worry because there are measures that we can take to prevent the negative effects of all of these halogens. So what are they? Eat an iodine rich diet, get an air filtration system, water filtration system, remove gluten and soy because that prevents the absorption of it as well, use glass instead of plastic, use chemical free products, and use fluoride free toothpaste. And at least get organic products. And if you're an overachiever, you can always go and get some supplements as well. We'll put those down below as well. So there are some ways that you can check being iodine efficient at home. First, you can get a thyroid test and, or you can test yourself at home or you can take your temperature every day. You can take your temperature every morning for a week. If your average temperature is below 98.6, then you ha are fighting an underactive thyroid. So that's it, folks. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps our channel out a lot and we thank you for it. And keep in mind, everything that we talked about today, we'll keep it in the description box below so you can take a look at it for yourself. And keep it rebellious.